Gramophoning isn't done yet, by the way. Did, did I say it was? No, Me? you said there was a hyphen. <laughs> now, another 20 minutes of this gramophoning to go. Uh, and next time, gentlemen, w w when you know that I'm cutting you short, just say, hold on a second, Dotson. Your grammar may be perfect, but your timing's completely off. So another 20 minutes of the phone in to go. Please do feel free to still join us and contribute to this conversation, asking about the rules of grammar, which ones are uh, set in stone and should never, ever be broken uh, or tampered with whatsoever. Uh, Neville Gwynn stands for that side of the argument, whereas Terry Victor who some would say is a uh, uh, grammarian, anarchist, uh, anarchist. Uh, no, no, anarchy doesn't work. No, anarchy doesn't work either. But he's our more liberal or libertarian yeah. uh, grammarian. Yeah, it's, it's, it's subversive. <laughs> subversive is a good word. It's a good word. Not necessarily one that's applicable uh, to Terry Victor. But, no, <laughs> <laughs> but he certainly feels that you should be able to be a lot more flexible with the rules yeah. of grammar. It's uh, subversive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Well, uh, w w whichever way it is, let's continue with this uh, uh, phone in as well. So we've got Vic in Kettering uh, with us on the phone. Vic, good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, are you for subversion of the gr rules of grammar or not? Well, it j j there, go, there are just some things when I think the younger people uh, are taking it a little bit too free and easy. Um, and it, it's something that has just uh, come up and is rapidly, was rapidly gaining ground. Uh, that I'm connected with the hospice. And the staff have suddenly started to say, when I ask them, how are you? They come back with, oh, I'm good. To which my reply is always, I didn't ask you about your morals, I asked you about your health. Now, whether I've made a complete hatch-up of the English language, I don't know, but I always get a laugh. I, I can imagine you get a laugh. Don't you enjoy the way that these youngsters use the language, though? Doesn't that keep you in some form of merriment in any case, or, or, or are you just aghast by it? Oh, no, no. It's, the young people are young people. But sometimes I, I don't quite understand how they reach their new definitions. When there's, you know, when there are quite, uh, uh, quite acceptable uh, responses. Uh, you you want to watch some of those American TV programs then? No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, no, you don't. But I will say this, um, and Terry, I want you to answer this because Vic has got one point, which I think is a strong one. A moment ago, you wanted to stand aloof from the suggestion that you were for anarchy. When Vic says these youngsters are a little bit too lax with their usage of grammar, that's anarchy, isn't it? When we're all too lax with it, that suddenly... Well, if we're all so, doing it, it's not anarchy, is Well, it? it is, because we won't understand what we're all talking about. Then it's yeah, anarchy. Yeah, anarchy is a majority rule. No, uh, no, 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 it's not about majority... Uh, rule it's if we're all doing it and all too lax with it there will come a point when there is no point there is a point a the point is no we've got a language now that vic influenced when he was the age of the guys who are now saying oh i'm good vic at some did point did you do that vic so, i'm sorry when uh, terry is accusing you of Freezing, being not accusing <laughs> terry is accusing <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> of being the same as these youngsters that mess around the language now, that when you were young, when you were younger, I should say, that you did exactly the same. Is that true? Uh, no, because I had uh, strong teachers and a strong mother. <laughs> so <laughs> then... With your friends, Vic, didn't you have your own vocabulary? No, no, as this happens, um, my father died when I was young, and I was a home birth helping mother. So ah. I didn't have a wide circle of friends to corrupt my English, <laughs> or as it might be. <laughs> ah, you see, you, you've spoiled a perfectly good argument on my half here. <laughs> <laughs> but but g g try and salvage the argument. Go on. Uh, well, if you'd been in, uh, if you'd done national service, if you'd been in the forces, I have. Yes. Right. When when you were within the forces, there were vo there were vocabularies you used there that have changed and moved on. I mean, that the armed forces are wonderful areas of growth for the language. And you must have been partly responsible for using language 
that has come forth from there. You're, you're approaching a certain difference in situation there, and to be tough and to be outrageous was a help. No, I, I don't think so. I think within, within a group of friends and compatriots or companions, you yes. do invent your own. I mean, slangs is one way of putting it, but they're not just slangs. But you you invent your own slang, and some of that filters through to the wider language. What he's trying to say, Vic, is did you ever say inky pinky parley vu? <laughs> yes, and I know how silly it was. There you go. <laughs> Can I do you now, sir? <laughs> well, you probably will. Yeah, I'm, done, I'm not sure if you can say that anymore. But what about? <laughs> but what about that then, um, Neville? That even Vic was, you know, in his day, one of those who was loose and free with the language. It's okay. I, I thought Vic said he wasn't. Well, no, he's accepted that when he was in the armed forces, he may have well, uh, it, 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 wavered you, on the wild side. I'll say again, I never mind a bit of local slang, provided it is not accepted when one does not think that one yeah. is using the correct English. That, I've that, got no that, 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 that is the point. And Vic, just to be clear, even when you were wavering on the wild side of uh, anarchic use of the language, you knew what the correct form was, didn't you? Well, exactly, and, and, and generally I use the correct form. Another word, is, of course, is wicked. Wicked. Now, what wicked has got to do with uh, having a good time? I have no idea. Well, or, or at least I'm not going to pursue it. <laughs> put it this way: the same people who think wicked is about having a great time also think sick means that it's very, very good, very good. Do they? Yeah. If, it, if it's sick, it's yeah. wow. That was the no, best. That's a new one. That's yeah, a new it's one. It's sick. You know, it's that, sick. That, that is Frank just sickening that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in my three of them, wicked the oldest, that was it, F. Scott Fitzgerald. It, in my day, I thought grime was something to do with dirty, but now I see that it's <laughs> it's the highest form of poetry, you know. Is it? Yes, grime. Oh, grime. Yeah, I'm, I'm still learning. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. But uh, the, the point that Vic made, though, Terry, and you, you're, we're not going to let you get out of this one, is that at least he always knows the correct form. He believes he does. As far yeah. as he knows which rules are well, being set. I'd take his word for it. I take I'm, his word. I'm not going to argue with Vic. I, I think Vic is a natural user of the language. And therefore, no, he's not. He, no, no, because he's no one trained. owns the language, he's a not even. User well, 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 hang on, Neville. No one owns the language, not even you. So Vic is his, an expert in his version of it. And if, it, if what he has learned is what you deem to be, quotes, correct, then, yeah, well and good. That's his version of the language. But because the language evolved to the state it is now, it's no different to the way it's evolved to the point where you stopped moving or when you set it in aspic. I, I deny this word evolution. Uh, well, adding words is one thing, but changing it, we, we still speak the same language yeah. as Shakespeare with a few added words. That's yeah. not evolution. That's yeah. We add words they're every day. There are words added to the language all That's the time. That That's is fine. What, I'm, what I'm objecting to is misuse of words, which uh, which is a very different matter. That is subversive, and it is uh, corrupting. Uh, Vic, thank you for the call. <laughs> I don't think we came to a conclusion on that, but thank you for the call. Uh, we've got Ken with us in Littlehampton. Ken. Hello, Don. Good to speak to you, mate. If I gave you something, it would yeah. be free or for nothing. What you attract to in, in recent years and the press and advertisements and on in the radio, they keep saying it's for free. Surely it's not for free, surely it's just free or for nothing. Um, for nothing is incorrect as well, isn't it? I'm giving it to you for nothing. I'll do it for nothing. It's the same grammar as I'll do it for sixpence. Is it? Yeah. I'll do it for nothing. Yeah, I'll do it for nothing. I'll do it for, I will do it for no price. For, 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 I suppose you could almost for say no I'll do it for thing. Yeah. Right, no thing. So it's not, I'll do it for nothing then. Because well, nothing, nothing is just... no thing, but if you break it down, you can hear it easier. Okay, fair enough. Right, but... sure it should be for free, sure it should be just free. Free, yeah. what about that? Uh, doing it for free rather than just free. The sentence doesn't balance this. sound right aesthetically if you say, I'll do it free. No, if I gave you something and I said it's free, you oh, no, it's you'd say I'll do it free of charge. It's for free. Don't they? If I gave you a, a, a box of chocolates, say, oh, that's free. I wouldn't say it's for free. No, 
But, but it, well, it, it, so, it, so, it, it, it does depend on where it sits in the construction of the sentence of what you're saying. And you're absolutely right. Quite often, the four is totally redundant, but there are points. Just bear with us, gentlemen. We want just to very quickly go to the World of Athletics Champions Championships in Beijing. Mike Costello is there for us. Mike. But let's round off this uh, gramophone in tonight. Uh, Kenny Littlehampton, uh, who's still with us here, yeah. um, the point that you were making was about the uh, the phrase to give somebody something for free. Now, free. yeah, f um, Terry was saying that the reason why that for creeps in is because otherwise the construction of the sentence wouldn't be balanced. And I heard in the background Neville almost agreeing with that. Well, it, it, uh, free really is short for free of charge, and it, it, no. it balances perfectly well if you add the words for charge on it. Free, free by mm. itself, it, it does need a bit of help. It needs a bit of help, but is it technically incorrect? It, yes, because it just doesn't quite make sense. I do it free. So, you you, you no, don't no, quite know what you're saying. But, but you're free, abbreviating free the grammar, though, aren't you? You're just abbreviating it. So Abbreviating the vocabulary. In right? a sense, um, as with the English language in so many other senses, Sometimes um, the help falls off at the tail end because we know what you mean by the time you say the the, the prefix to it is correct. And you yeah, know, a box of chocolates and I said these boxes box of chocolates are free. I don't need to say they're for free, do I? No, but you do. If you're saying they are free of charge, oh, that's different. That is different, isn't it? It's not for free. It's not the same thing. It's no, not the same thing, free. Neville. But free, and they're, they're for free, so they're just free. But for free means the same as free of charge, I think, and free of charge is correct, for, and for free is incorrect, I think. Yeah, free. for free is not the same as free of charge. But for you free, don't... you've added a word in there, Terry, that doesn't seem to have a place there. That's right. Terry? Uh, I'm not really struggling with it. I'm, I'm, I'm I thinking, am. <laughs> I am. Is, <laughs> is free, right. for free, it, it needs something to make it work. It needs something, but does it need something that's incorrect to make it work? How can well, that be? Is it incorrect? It is, if you say I... for free, because the sentence should be, this is free of charge. It's not <laughs> for free of charge. It's because just... These papers are free. It, it's papers using are free. free to mean nothing, um, as opposed to liberated. So in that case, instance, you are doing it for nothing, where free is just a, a synonym for nothing. Why, why right. don't we say for nothing, then, rather than for free? The problem we do. is... No, no, but in this context... That, for nothing was just said in the beginning, wasn't it? Yeah. For this context that Ken's talking about, people say, yeah, I'm doing this for free. And that well, is wrong, isn't it? It's, it's not wrong, because people say... And this is what I, I, I keep coming back to. If enough people say it, and we all understand... No, no, it, but let's get back to the rules. Forget how many people say it. In this context, in this respect, let's get back to the rules. I'm just asking simply, and you don't want to accept that grammatically, according to the rules of the English grammar, the, Ken is right. It is wrong. I, I, I don't accept those rules particularly exist. Neville? <laughs> uh, Terry basically says there are no rules. It's, it's completely sort of... But where do they exist? Is it like the English Constitution, that they exist over time, but actually there's no written piece of paper yeah, we all apart know from the Bill of Rights? Now, thinking, don't we? We all know how to make a plural. We, now, can, we... I, can I answer? What people have done in the past is to analyse how the language is used and see what rules created that usage. In other words, the rules are what you notice as a result of uh, reading or listening to people doing it over centuries. That's what a rule is. But, but in order to establish a rule, you find out what's always been But what's been the done. rule? What is the rule that stops you saying for free? I'm doing it for free rather than I'm doing it for nothing. Because the construction of the sentences seems similar. So what's the rule that allows one but um, it stops the other one be from being allowed? You just use the word free in the wrong way. That's a, it's, 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 a, it's a vocabulary thing, not a grammar thing, really. Uh, Ken, thanks very much. I thought it was a grammar thing, mate, but apparently it's only a vocabulary <laughs> thing. So no biggie, no biggie. Um, you can laugh, Terry. I did. I, I, I just wanted to actually quickly say that the commentary of that last race was marvellous. I was listening to it for any faults, and it was fantastically good, except that it had a decent crowd. Mike Costello is a brilliant commentator. That's what you're Absolutely. saying. Absolutely. We know what's that already. Decent crowd? <laughs> they came dressed in a certain way. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Don't be so finicky, or finicky even. Finicky, picky, finicky, what's the difference? It's all grammar, isn't it? Oh, thanks very much to Neville as well. Otherwise, you'll think that I'm not at all decent by not mentioning his name.